In this video, you're going to see the Grand Warden skins that I like the most, the decent skins, the okay ones, and the worst skins. Starting off with the Party Warden. This was surprisingly the very first Warden skin, an excellent skin for the very first one that came out. Even though this skin came out in 2019, it still can compete with some of our newer skins, especially because this is a Gold Pass skin. With the amount of sound effects and animations he has, he could almost be a legendary skin. And I do love the design of this skin, the black, gold, and purple are some of the best combination of colors you can get. He does lack a lot of visual effects. For that reason, he's not gonna go in the S tier, but instead the A tier. Next skin is the Primal Warden. This is not even close to as good as the Party Warden. Now he does have a decent amount of custom animations, but there's really not many, if any, sound effects or visual effects that are custom on this skin. And not to mention, it's not the best design. It is one of the better Primal skin designs, but this skin would be one of the lowest ranking skins as far as design goes. I almost feel bad putting this in the C tier, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because it really does not have much value and the design is not that great. Next is the Clockwork Warden. This one, I actually like the design of. I do like the Clockwork King a lot more than this one, but the Clockwork set overall is not bad. I wouldn't recommend this skin if you don't like this design, but if you like the design like I do, this is a pretty decent pick. It's got a pretty good amount of animation sound effects and visual effects this skin would have used to be an a tier skin but with all the new skins coming out this one is gonna go down to the b tier gladiator warden is next i love this cloud element that they've added to this skin where he jumps up on the cloud when he's set to air mode the design of this one is a little bit more bland in my opinion not super bland but more so than say the party warden or the pirate warden i do prefer the more vibrant purple rather than this darker toned down purple color he's got a decent amount of custom visual effects a lot of animations. I don't really hear any custom sound effects with this skin. I see lots of comments from people saying that they absolutely love this skin, but in my opinion, it's just average going in the B tier. There's so much that I like about the Pirate Warden, and I'm just looking at him again with this new lighting change, and he looks so much better. My favorite thing about him is the parrot that he has that carries him around when he's set to air and sits on his arm when he's set to ground. The parrot also does a lot of other funny things. Like when he gets knocked out, the parrot is still helping him levitate and and around his head instead of stars are little parrots. I love his attacking animation where he's shooting his gun essentially. He even has the visual effect to go with it, which looks like a bullet shooting out of his gun. The design is interesting because they totally got rid of the purple color design and just went with the green, white, and orangish red color design. He is almost in the, you know what? Yeah, he's S tier. I like the skin too much. The Warden of the North is a very average skin and there's really only one reason that I would choose this skin. And that reason is his ground pose animation where he lets his staff sit by his side while he goes to fix his coat and his staff starts floating away and he jumps and grabs it just in time. They kind of ruined his jumping animation when they did this skin rework back in June, but regardless, I still love that animation. Like I said, other than that, this is a very average skin and average skins go in the B tier. Speaking of average, the jungle warden is just, I don't know what they were thinking with most of these jungle skins. Like the King and Warden designs are just not great in my opinion. Now, the King is very bad. This one isn't so bad, okay? This one is an average design, but he has below average animations, sound effects, and visual effects. I don't even know if he has custom visual effects or sound effects. I'm also really not sure why I don't like this design, but this skin is gonna go in the C tier. Next is the Warden Master. This skin flies under the radar a lot lot for me. I just don't think about it much, but it is a really solid skin. He has some really great animations, especially selection and pose, but even this attacking animation with that visual effect looks so epic. He's like this very chill, but very skilled guy who can like levitate in the air while casually shooting his gun, destroying buildings. The design on this one looks really cool. I like the rim around his clothing. And again, those visual effects are amazing. I'm going to put the Warden Master up here at the bottom of the tier. I've always really liked the Christmas skins and the Jolly Warden is no exception. I love the color scheme of these skins and I also love their personalities. They're just so happy and jolly as their name says. This one has some visual effects when he attacks. He's got some really great animations and he also has quite a few sound effects. And the other thing about these Jolly skins is they have visual effects when they get knocked out which is pretty rare for skins. As a Gold Pass skin, the Jolly Warden has a lot of value and I really like his design so I'm gonna put him up in 
in the A tier, right above the Warden Master. The Warrior Warden is next. The Warrior set is one of my all-time favorite sets. The design of these skins are incredible. This one has a lot of great animations. He rides on his staff, which shoots while he's on top of it. The thing I like a lot about these skins is the red, gold, and there's some black highlights in there too. Red, black, and gold always go so well together. I love how in all his animations, like his resting animation, the staff is always doing something really funny. The design plus the amount of animations and effects this skin has is going to put him up in the A tier. I'm going to put him right below the Party Warden. Even though he probably has better value, I still would pick the Party Warden. I'm going to get a lot of pushback from this, but the Shadow Warden is not my favorite skin. I'm really not a fan of the design. He has some very good animations, but I just can't get past the design. He's not like a C or D tier skin for me, but I just can't understand why people like his design so much. His cloak with the feathers and stuff on it, I don't get it. And even like the purple color of his skin, like I said, I like the more vibrant purple instead of the toned down look that this one has. Well, I said I wouldn't put him in the C or D tier, so I'll just drop him at the bottom of the B tier. But the Summer Warden, this one is one of my favorite skins. I really love the Summer skins. This one has some great animations. I love the design of this one. The pink and the orange go really well together for some reason. Now the orange does blend in with his skin a lot, so that's not a great design choice. But other than that, I love the design, the personality, and he's got a ton of custom animations, visual effects, and sound effects. This one's going at the top of the A tier. He's even passing the party warden. The pixel warden is amazing. I love the pixel skins. I just love the simplified, cute design of these skins, along with so many animations, visual effects, and sound effects that these skins have. It's just the perfect Grand Warden skin in my opinion. I love the low frame rate 8-bit animation style. The skin just looks so good. He is definitely in the top of the S tier. The Champion Warden is next. Now, first of all, this selection animation is amazing. Again, purple, gold, and black, they look amazing together. Look at that animation. He has some of the best animations. I don't hate his helmet, but it is a little bit weird, especially compared to the other champion skins who all have those feathery, very elaborate helmets on their head. That attacking animation looks epic, especially with that visual effect when he hits the buildings. I mean, this is just a phenomenal skin. 100% S tier and for sure better than the Pirate Warden. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, I'm gonna be uploading a Royal Champion skin ranking and a scenery ranking. Plus I'm making skin and scenery buying guides in 2024, which you don't wanna miss. Next is the Magic Warden, the Magic Magic set is incredible. The only thing that would make this skin better is if they actually had the visual effects for a selection animation. When he shoots with his hand, there are actually lightning bolts that are supposed to come off of his hand. It wasn't able to render within Clash of Clans, so we just can't see that lightning bolt for his selection. But when he is actually attacking, we do get to see the lightning bolt. The visual effects on this skin are incredible. He even as that little bubble under him, well, kind of a big bubble for his ability animation. The magic set is just an incredibly well-designed set, and they're all legendary so they've all got so much going for them magic warden is in the s tier we'll put him right below the champion warden the painter warden this one is legendary i don't really think of this as legendary i know you've heard me say that in the king and queen skin ranking videos by the way if you haven't seen those go check them out the animations on this skin are pretty decent he's got the visual effect when you set him down he's got the visual effect when you attack maybe not the most ideal version of that but still he's got the visual effect. He's got the sound effects and the animations. I do like the design of this skin. The pink and the purple with the pink canister on the back, shooting paint. It's such a great concept that they put together. I'm going to put him at the top of the A tier. We'll put him right above the Jolly Warden. Next is the Dark Ages Warden. This one was the first Gold Pass skin we got for four Grand Warden skins. I can see he's got some great animations. His design is pretty solid. Again, they've moved away from that purple and pink design to a blue and white design. I have to say I love the way the visual effect interacts with his animation. See how the beam moves with the mace that he's swinging? Other skins don't do that. Like for example, we just saw the painter warden. The beam is just one straight stiff line that doesn't move with his staff. This design is pretty average, 
but I really like his visual effects and animations. So I'm gonna put the Dark Ages Warden at the bottom of the A tier. The Goblin Warden. The Goblin set was a very interesting set. I do really like this selection animation where he throws the bomb out of the frame where we can't see it. This pose animation is incredible too. The Goblin set is not my favorite set, but I do think they executed it really well. Now, I love this bomb visual effect when he attacks the buildings, where this bomb appears under the building and then explodes. I don't think they've done anything like that with any other skin that I can think of. The attacking animation where he spins around is incredible. I almost want to say that I don't like the design, but I can't because it's not a bad design. The skin is actually really good. He's going to go in the A tier. I'll put him right above the Painter Warden. The League Warden is an outstanding skin. I love the design. I love the animations, the, everything, the visual effects, but specifically the design, first of all. I like the crystal theme of the skin. I actually don't think it's S tier, but it is like top of the A tier design for me. This skin is absolutely loaded with sound effects, visual effects, and animations. It's one of the best value skins you can buy. Not all of the animations are great, like the attacking animation looks a bit weird to me. Of course, the skin is not flawless, but this is just an incredible design and it has so much value that it's just so hard to top this skin. It's definitely an S tier skin, better than Pirate, better than magic. Ooh, I'm gonna put him above the champion warden too. I just pulled up the future warden and I was surprised to see that this is a gold pass skin. It looks like it should be legendary. It just has so many visual effects and the animations look incredible. And I think everything so far has been a custom sound effect. The design of this skin too is absolutely insane. They stuck with the purple design and added some silver and blue in there. I personally love the design. If you love the design too, this is absolutely worth it, especially for a gold pass skin. Even this knockout animation with the electrical visual effects, it's incredible. This has to be S tier. I would actually put this one above the League Warden because I like this design more. As always, we're not gonna rank the Ghost Warden, but if you haven't subscribed yet, go click that subscribe button. Breaking news, the Gingerbread Warden just dropped after I finished recording this video. This skin is amazing. The sound effects are the primary thing that I love about this skin. The animation wouldn't be nearly as good without any of the sound effects and these visual effects are amazing too they fit perfectly with the gingerbread theme sprinkles constantly falling around him the powdered sugar when he walks around and then the very colorful icing attack visual effect this skin is absolutely loaded with value and I love the design of it so for the first time in over a year the gingerbread warden is my number one skin <laughs>